weeks, the Alamance Burlington school system has spent more than $20 million cleaning up the mold found in most of its schools so that children could return to class. And they tell us it's going to cost millions more to keep it out long term. WXI 12 Joshua Davis has more on the district's long term plan when it comes to air quality. I've had the opportunity to look over this long term quality plan and while multiple parts of it will help when it comes to cleanliness with schools here in Alamance County, county leaders will have to seriously look at where the funding for this plan will come from. We have all of our schools cleared uh, from mold remediation. The county commissioners would like for us to look at a long term plan. The plan focuses on six areas, HVAC systems, roof repair, dehumidification, water intrusion, window repair and staffing. ABSS says it's looking into establishing building managers at each school with the responsibility of changing air filters, identifying leaks, and generally maintaining the buildings. The district says it's looking into including dehumidifiers into the existing infrastructure of the school and are proposing to rent portable humidifiers as they look for more permanent options. They also want to get back to roof repair and replacement for multiple schools in the county, a process that was put on hold. But accomplishing these will require internal staffing for newly created district positions and working with contractors for potential repairs. A lot of school districts across the state use contractors for these kinds of things because obviously, uh, as I've said, with only 20 maintenance uh, personnel right now within Alamance Burlington schools, they can only do but so much. So these contractors would be responsible for larger projects. But all of these things won't come cheap. Replacing HVAC systems, for example, could cost upwards of $30 million per year. Roof replacement, $15 million and staffing a little over $2 million annually. Every crisis is a business problem, essentially, and we've been in crisis mode for some weeks now, and it essentially comes down to business and finance. We do have some money left over from the 2018 education bond. The commissioners will look at that. Obviously, we have some lottery funding. Each year, the commissioners give us a portion of the sales tax uh, and the property tax, so all of that uh, they will be looking at. This plan will be presented to county commissioners next Monday at 6.30 p.m. In Alamance County, I'm Joshua Davis for WXII 12 News.